Hey guys, welcome back to another interesting topic. Today's topic is about packed versus unpacked BCD. So what's packed BCD and unpacked BCD? So as you know previously, BCD is a binary coded decimal where decimal digits from 0 to 9 are represented in a binary form using 4 bits. So as you can see from 0 to 9 are represented in 4 bits binary numbers. 0, 0 as 0 and 1, 0, 0 as 0 and rest of them. But here, as you know that with 4 bits, we can get up to 16 combinations that is 2 power 4. So, but we are using only 10 combinations. So what about the remaining 6 combinations? They are unused, okay? 6 unused combinations are there in BCD. So the storage of BCD becomes a hectic problem. So BCD was used in a previous days in the decimal computers. But now let us come to packed BCD versus unpacked BCD. So in unpacked BCD, we are going to represent one digit per byte. So that's a, a lot of memory wastage. Okay, let's see an example for one digit per byte. So if we take an example of a decimal 8, it is represented as a one byte in unpacked BCD. So it is represented as four zeros and one zero zero, that's eight. Here, zero 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 has no significance we are having no significance of the upper nibble only the lower nibble has the weight and gives the value correctly so this is how you write an unpacked bcd let's take one more example let's take 9 so the 9 you know in binary we represent it as 1001 so upper nibble should be 0 which has no significance for unpacked we are just storing 4 extra bits which is of no use in unpacked BCD. Now let's go with the packed BCD. So here it is packed, so two digits per byte, okay? Two digits are being used per byte. So let's take an example of a decimal 89. So it is represented as 100 zero zero and 1001. Zero zero one. So per byte, we are able to represent two digits so we are packing up a more number of a digits in a single byte. So that's why it's called as a packed BCD. So in unpacked, what's happening is that if we take a 4 as a digit, we need to add an extra 0. If we take 45, we need to store it as 0, 0, 45. But in unpacked, we are removing these zeros and storing in a single byte. I hope you are understood now. Now I'm gonna give you, give you the effects of what's happening to the range when we use unpacked and packed and binary. So binary, let's consider a 16-bit binary. So what will be the range of a binary? It will be from 0 to 65k, 65535. Okay, that will be the range that till that value we can go using 16 bits. In packed, because of extra bits, because of the 4 bits restrictions and we are unable to use the 6 bits. You know we are not able to use the extra 6 bits which are formed in the combinations. As a result we will be able to limit ourselves 0 to 4 9 solely. So the range of a 16 bit packed BCD is 0 to 4 9s. That said for an unpacked it's more complicated because we are here it was 4 bytes. One, by, one byte we can store two digits here in one byte we can store only one digit as a result the range has been reduced significantly we can store only 0 to 99 so this is the range as you can see the storage will be a problem in unpacked and packed compared to binary so the main reason for using the BCD code was that it was simpler uh, instead of uh, doing the complex operations for binary uh, to decimal it was simpler to choose from a lookup table uh, and get the value as a result we used BCD in previous cases in previous generation of computers and microprocessors but now almost everyone uses binary to decimal conversion so thanks for watching I hope you understood what's the difference between packed and unpacked BCD if you have liked this video I would be appreciated and please do subscribe thanks for watching